We have finally arrived at, uh, I believe, one of the most anticipated parts of this course, which is coding. In fact, coding is uh, seems to be the option that's uh, quite often associated with NVivo, and if somebody doesn't really know what NVivo uh, can do or what NVivo can be used for, uh, they will most likely tell you that it's for coding. It also seems to cause a lot of stress perhaps of the name that suggests in fact some uh, no, uh, knowledge uh, of uh, programming languages perhaps I don't know but but ironically uh, coding itself is one of the easiest things in NVivo uh, the coding as such uh, perhaps is not that easy because it depends on your own ideas and on your creativity or your on your reflections or analytical skills but as I said, in this software, what coding really is, is just a reflection of this, of these analytical processes. So just to code something with the software is actually quite easy. Our codes uh, will appear in uh, this notes folder. You can see now that there is one code, I created it in one of the videos. But otherwise, this list view is empty. So to create our uh, new codes, let's go to the sources and I will just show you how to do this. Uh, so all we need to do to code our data is to select uh, one given segment of the text that we want to code. So for example, let's, let's continue with our early live code. So I will just select this piece of text and we need to enter the name of the code here at the bottom. So in this case, as you'll see, as I start uh, typing the name of the code, uh, because I have already created it, it will appear automatically. So we have our early life code. Now we just need to press enter to code it. You can see that the number of sources uh, coded with this code uh, has increased, has changed to two, and the number of references also has changed to two because I coded uh, some a part of another person's biography with this code. So let's go to another footballer. And again, as I can see that uh, it starts with the description of his uh, early years, I'll just code this part with with early life again and you can see again as I press enter here you'll see the number of sources and references here change so I'll press enter and we have another another uh, source coded with early life for the purpose of this uh, presentation I will create a few more codes so for example if I want to uh, create a code for uh, the start of professional career when the career started. Uh, also bear in mind that these codes that I'm creating they are quite descriptive so uh, it will again it will depend on your analysis and the purposes of your study because in my own uh, research I tend to go deeper if I investigate attitudes, if you will be investigating attitudes, for example, or beliefs or perhaps some personal transformations or identity, your codes obviously will be slightly different. They may describe feelings, emotions or any other aspects of experience. And what I'm doing here is just really introducing very descriptive codes, early life or professional career. So in this case, it's it really serves the purpose of uh, categorizing or organizing my data further. So breaking these biographies into these different elements. Uh, so it's like almost like a table of content where I'll easily have access to different stages uh, of their uh, career or of their uh, lives. But for the purpose of this uh, course, let's just continue with uh, this kind of uh, codes. Uh, okay, so let's say that I want to create a, a new code this time. So this will be for the start of pro professional career. So again, I need to select the text and start typing. This time we don't have this code yet, so I just need to type the whole name of this new code. So I'll just call it 
a start of a professional uh, career. As I uh, press enter, the new code will appear here. Uh, so again, let's just uh, quickly go through a couple of other participants and just uh, quickly code something else. So again, to show you the changes here, I, I, go, I went to this uh, notes folder and now again, I'll just, uh, I'll just code this part of the text that describes when this footballer started uh, or signed his first professional contract. So we have another code added here.